the original Resident Evil, released for the Sony PlayStation in 1996, was a landmark title in video game history, especially in terms of helping define what the survival horror genre of gaming is today. Its unique gameplay concepts and truly terrifying atmosphere was a huge accomplishment that would in turn spawn into a massive franchise of more games, merchandise, books, and films. Now, 15 years later, the original PS1 version does show its age a bit with its gritty polygons, clunky controls, and laughable cutscenes and voice acting. And while those things have plenty of nostalgic value, the first installment of Resident Evil is certainly a title worthy of remake treatment, which it received in 2002 with this version for the Nintendo GameCube. At first glance, it's pretty clear the graphics have undergone a major overhaul, and for its time, this is one of the most beautiful looking games for the console. It still has the pre-rendered backgrounds and static camera angles, but the enhanced environment effects and well-rendered character models look fantastic, and they integrate with the horrifying atmosphere flawlessly. Sound also gets an upgrade with some chilling surround sound effects and new voice acting with better script translations. Although, I do miss how the old acting gave the original game a kind of cool B-movie feel, but the slight voice improvements here do make the overall experience a bit more serious. Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! But all of that is just surface stuff that's to be expected from a remake. And luckily, Capcom went all out in improving the game in other ways as well. If you've played through the original Resident Evil before, perhaps several times, you definitely can't expect to tear through this version the same way that you've done in the past. The game's director, Shinji Mikami, claims this remake as being 70% different from the original, with all new areas in and around the mansion to explore, altered and brand new puzzles to solve, new enemies coming after you, the addition of defensive weapons, and even extra story details to tie in other characters from other games. So some things will feel very familiar, but there's more than enough added content to warrant a full playthrough, or maybe a few more, considering that there are multiple endings, different experiences when you play as Jill or Chris, and tons of unlockable content as well. Eh, there are a few familiar problems with the game though, mostly regarding the controls. The remake does add a 180 degree flip function by hitting the C stick, along with a variety of other control setup options, but there's still no analog control available for movement, which would have been a really nice addition. I also still get a little annoyed by the way that your inventory is handled, as you'll end up running around a bit too much to your safe boxes, just so you can pick up some tiny key or something. I understand, it adds to the survival horror feel, but I always felt that you should have been able to carry a certain amount of weight as opposed to total number of items. But despite those minor complaints, this game still freaks me out, and it stands strong as one of the most immersive and satisfying survival horror gaming experiences of all time, and this remake is a fantastic tribute to a true classic. <laughs> 